Hello there, I'm Sign to Ninja. I'm giving you guys a unboxing of more Star Trek stuff. Now, before I get to that, about the Spidey Suit Project, for any of you guys who've been following me, me, I still have to film to film a few more things before I made the site editing. Okay, there's a scene. Uh, again, a small bit in episode one that I have to get shot before I can. I feel like I made edit it plus a few other stuff, but I'm almost there. Okay, what's this about? Now, first thing first, uh, those bloody broken fees. Don't know if you guys can see this. Eighty, no, seventy, three bucks. Okay, I hate broker's fees. Biggest problem when buying stuff online, especially if you're having it shipped from the states. Seaside. Eh? If we bucks? Like, where did that money go? And I know some shipping, some shipping companies do it, and some shipping companies don't. Either way, there's a little bit of a rant. Now, let's just get to the unboxing of this. That seems logically be bad for it to the other side. Yeah, all this stuff came from Waterbury.com. And once again, I wish they had Enterprise Ring Pants. Okay, first thing I have is the sh jacket for the Rafficon shirt. And I actually bought the, a lot of the accessories for this. And yeah. Pants for Rafficon and the undershirt for Rafficon. The again little clip for the um thing. There's a pick. The belt buckle. Actually I like I like how it's kinda of worn down and beat up. You know what? This thing actually costs 50 bucks. Okay, there are actually two items in here that cost 50 bucks. Yeah, I paid like 300 for all this stuff, but if it wasn't for those two, it probably cost me more like 200. Okay. Nothing important. Okay, last time you guys saw me unbox the um, shirt for the original series, this is just the um, pants. Which I'm probably not going to make, but I'm glad I have it. And a lot of the other stuff I have. Let's see here. Um, these are those um, ink markers. Again, I'm actually not actually adding these onto mine. Mine, um, some, I'm making a, um, Star Trek costume for someone at work, so I bought these. What? Hmm. Oh, that's a crank. Oh, that's a really crank nice. Oh, seeing it. Ah. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, these are, I see like the year and... The um, actually, again, more stuff with the Rafficon stuff. This is another patch for the um, Star Trek Enterprise outfit. This is the one that we saw and wear on um, quite literally the last episode of Star Trek Enterprise. Now, this Latin phrase here, um, which I believe translate to to. Through difficulties, needs to the stars or something like that. Translates and text on the board. And the last two items I ha have actually, not kind of that. These are actually the rank pins for the Ravicon. Now, Ravicon rank pins are. They actually have two of these, um, one on the shoulder and one on the left sleeve. 
my left sleeve. These things also go on the left sleeve uh, for the year. Uh, and lastly is the um I guess little badge which they have. Uh, again, you see this all the time on Star Trek. No way. And, and this is the other item that costs 50 bucks. So these two both cost 100 bucks. The belt buckle and the... Damn. Badge. Well, one more thing. Apparently. Wait, I check my mailbox. It says, not convenient. So, and apparently, I, another package of mine came in. This one will hopefully have the ink pins for the Enterprise costume. This I ordered from, and I just cut. As I call it, Storybase Atlanta. And they sent me no one patch. Uh, I ordered another patch. Oh well. So here. It's really small. I'm also hoping it'll be a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's see if I get. Can you guys go? Let's see if that helps. It's really on that. Not that big. Yeah. But I did make sure I ordered four of them for Captain. Well, either way, um, thanks you guys for watching this quick little video, and I should be keeping you guys updated on all my projects, like those Gundam models, which I probably should do a little unboxing for you guys. Well, live long and prosper!